wow, this really is a whole new level of laziness here. I mean, you look fucking dead. Might as well be, there's fuck all else going on. Well, I mean, that's just the state of the world right now. You, uh, not got anything could be getting on with? Done it. All of it? Yeah, just about. Turns out when you've got a lot of time on your paws, you tend to get shit done pretty fucking quick. Well, isn't there anything you could fill the time with? that isn't just staring at the fucking ceiling. Done most of that as well. There's only so much cleaning and tidying you can do before it gets obsessive. It's not as if it fucking matters anyway, is it? Well, I mean, the place is looking a bit better at least. Well, I'm sure that makes a world of difference for all the people that can come and actually see it. Well, I mean, it's at least better than just laying around existing. Wanna bet? Look, I get the lockdown is hard to stick to, but I mean, it will pass eventually. It's not gonna be forever. Yeah, but you still get to go to work every day, so it's easy for you to say, isn't it? Your work isn't exactly some big barrel of laughs, mate. I mean, it's fucking worse nowadays, because people are fucking assholes, alright? It's not exactly my saving grace in this situation. Yeah, but it's something that breaks up the monotony. It's something that makes the time go past just a little bit quicker. Everything's just blurring at the moment. All the days are blurring into one. This year is slipping by so quickly and yet so slowly, nothing is fucking happening and I don't even know what day it is anymore. But then laying here and sinking into that pit of apathy and nihilism is Definitely not gonna make it any better, is it? Yeah, but that's the thing. This is all that's left, all right? I get that everybody wants to be positive and happy smiley and we'll get through this together, but Jesus, sometimes that's not on the fucking menu, okay? Sometimes you just gotta go through this shit just to get it out of your system, all right? It's like bottling shit up. You can't keep doing that and expect for it not to fucking overflow and burst. Okay, I get that. I accept that and I understand that, but you can't just surrender to this shit forever, okay? It would take some time to just space out, whatever, go for it. But I'm not letting you turn that into a fucking habit, all right? You get like a day of that, most. Yeah, and who says it's gonna become a habit, exactly? But I mean, you're a lazy fucker just by nature, all right? Like, this is the kind of thing that will stick to the wall forever, so... Yeah, no, it's not turned into a habit. I'm the one saying that it will. It ain't fucking going to, all right? It's my job to fucking keep you going. Uh, hang on, I thought it was my job to keep you going. Well, we keep each other going. You know, same way we always have. Same way we always will. Ugh, I mean, I guess, but I ain't doing anything today. Like, maybe tomorrow we'll see where things go, but like today, this is pretty much my speed, okay? All right, fine, fine. You're entitled to that, at least. We can take today off. I'll make some tea, we'll sit around and do fuck all, watch something on Netflix, some shit like that, but that's just for today, all right? And tomorrow, we do something different. Something productive. Yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow, it's, it's whatever, tomorrow. Today, I'm, I just veg, I'm vegging out. Yeah, clearly. So, I guess I'll just leave you to it for now. Interesting choice of slippers today. Oh goody, it's gonna be one of those kind of days today, isn't it? But it depends on what you mean by those days. One of those days where my footwear is strictly regimented by you and whatever pair of slippers it is you like the look of. Oh, well then yes. I mean, that's pretty much every day anyway. Yeah, you're, you're not actually all that warm. But it is interesting. I'm not gonna bite. So very interesting. Not doing it. Perplexing. fuck's sake. What's interesting? Well, for the past couple of days I've been running some sort of little experiment. You see, I've made sure that all the slippers that are closest to your feet when you wake up are in ascending order of comfort. Okay, you've got one that's memory foam, one that's sort of furry, and one that's all fluffy. Look, don't pretend that this has even any slight degree of scientific exploration to it, all right? It fucking does, you see, they range in comfort from like, you know, the least comfortable, which is still pretty fucking comfortable, to the most comfortable, and the order never changed. And funnily enough, you seem to be wearing the softest, most cushioned, sort of fluffiest pair that was up there. And considering how exhausted you've been from work lately, I can deduce that there isn't a huge amount of conscious thought going into that decision-making process. Honestly, you've put far more conscious thought into it than anyone would ever need or 
already. Which I can then firmly say would mean that you'd instinctively chose the pair that is the most comfortable. And judging by, you know, the amount of times you have subconsciously been idly wheeling your toes in them, I can say for certain that you are very much enjoying the feeling of that softness and that plushness against your feet. Okay, so to cut a long story short, what you're basically saying, in essence, is, and correct me if I'm wrong, the most comfortable slippers are the most comfortable slippers. Well, I mean, to put it in layman's terms... What exactly is your point here, boy? My point is that you instinctively, naturally knew which pair was going to be the best, and you just gravitated towards them. All right, your feet led you and you followed them, and my campaign of education has been successful. I think you're taking far too much credit for something so trivial and minute. But I think it goes further than that. I think you've been sort of gravitating towards this design of slipper because they are more covert, more easily disguised as shoes, and you could easily get away with wearing them outside. And You're actually enjoying these slippers a hell of a lot more than you would like to admit to me. Shut up. I fucking knew it, all right? I saw you wearing some outside whilst you were walking Milo. All right, admit it, I've been right all these fucking years. Look, you, you, you might have had like a slight point about the slippers, but it's like, maybe, it's not a big deal, right? We are perfectly on track. I reckon we are not very far away from ditching shoes entirely and going purely for slippers. In fact, I would say we're only about two weeks away from you getting those Ugg slides. I, I have no idea idea what you're talking about. Recent searches for fluffy Ugg slides and consistently revisiting the page now that you've realised that they do actually stop them in your size. I rest my case. Yeah, I, I've got to do a thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm out. <laughs> Excellent. My plan is working well. Once I've fully converted Aaron, I can continue this education and convert all of my followers. And then pretty soon, the world will ditch shoes entirely and everyone will wear slippers. I swear to God, I better get a fucking sponsorship deal out of it. Jesus. Oh, God, there we go. Okay. Time to work. Time to get shit done. Feeling good. Feeling energetic. Feeling like we're going to get a lot done today. Oh, for fuck's sake. Who the fuck could that be now? What? Hey, what up, cunt? Hey, I'm here to ruin your day. How's it going? How you feeling? Ruin my day? Who the fuck is this? <laughs> what do you mean, who is this? It's me. It's your boy, Anxiety. Yeah, and I'm here for your daily ass kicking. You know how it goes. What? No, no, no. no. I, I don't want to hear from you. I don't want that. I'm, I'm busy. Well, I'll be honest, mate. I don't really give a fuck what you've got going on, right? we got loads of shit to be focusing on. Loads of shit going wrong. Loads of stuff to be panicking over, right? We've got a lot to get through. What, what, do, you, what do you mean, shit going wrong? What, what, what shit? You know what? That's a good question question what could it be this time maybe maybe someone's gonna leave you maybe maybe someone's trying to attack you but maybe something's broken you're not even sure about it maybe something's gonna go wrong maybe your livelihood's in jeopardy let's roll the dice it could be fucking any of them or, or all of them maybe S stop it stop it shut the shut the fuck up it's nothing like that it's none of that okay you can't just make shit up and expect me to blindly believe it you see that's where you're wrong sweetheart you see that's exactly what i can do and in fact am doing and I mean, think about it, you're still worrying about it, aren't you? Right now, you're still thinking, what could it have been that made me turn up today of all days, huh? Just leave me the fuck alone, alright? I've got shit to do today. <laughs> no, no, you don't. You ain't doing anything today but panicking, alright? I hope you like heavy breathing. I'll just fuck off already. I've, I've got another call to deal with. It's obviously something more important than you. What? Hey, what's going on, man? Anxiety said he was going to give you a ring today and I thought I'd join the fucking party. So... You are uh, ready to fucking die? Oh, who's this cunt now? Oh, come on, don't act like you don't know me. We've known each other for years. You never could quite shake that depression, could you? No, no, I am fucking done with you. I, I am not giving in to you anymore. Oh, come on, we both know that isn't true. I'm with you till the end, whatever that may mean. I, I, I refuse to believe that. Is he still bitching and moaning? I mean, good. I mean, we basically got him where we want him. Oh, hey, dude. Yeah, we're we going for a bit of a tag team today, yeah? Take him on at once. Hell yeah, let's fucking do it. No, not today. I've had enough of this shit. Hey, Artemis, everything okay? Yeah, I... No, I... I don't know. Who's on the phone? It's... I... I, I don't want to talk to them anymore. They won't stop. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. You know you can just hang up on them, right? But... But they... Uh... No, no. No buts. Just put the phone down on them. You don't have to listen to them. Hey, don't you fucking dare! We'll still be here. What if they phone back? What if they... What if they won't stop and it just keeps coming back over and, and over again? Then we'll just keep hanging up on them, won't we? We'll keep shutting them up as many times as it takes. Well, will, will that work? We'll make it work. 
Come on, come downstairs. We can work together today. Don't be alone. Yeah, okay. That that sounds good. I'll tell you one thing, I'm leaving the fucking phone here though. <laughs> Attaboy. boy.